call this upcoming series of The Crown, we'll see Diana in her final months. They will recreate the horrific scenes in Paris. And I understand she'll also appear as a ghost in the show. Is this appropriate? Well, Mark, you see, Diana is the ghost that will forever haunt the House of Windsor. So mm -hmm. maybe it is appropriate. The Crown is going to open up um, old wounds, especially for Charles and Camilla. Um, and it's a war which Camilla can never win. She could never win that battle against Camilla. Um, I'm not sure she's winning the battle as a queen either, because our dear late queen did make it known that she wanted Camilla to be known and styled as queen consort. But mm. I think the king had other ideas. He always insisted that she would be his queen, styled and crowned beside him. Um, I'm not so sure that the public um, totally agreed with him on that. And there's an issue with it. Uh, these years which we're going to see in the crown are the years that I stood beside Diana from 1987 to 1997. Uh, I was at the heart of all of that. I saw everything happening. I saw the separation, the divorce, Martin Bashir, Hasna Khan, Dodi al Fayed, and I was there. So I'm hoping that the crown and the producer is going to be faithful to the truth because my princess was very misrepresented and misinterpreted in her lifetime. I don't want to see that happen again through a fictional TV series, which people might believe. Um, I want the truth to be shown and to not be whitewashed. And I had to say, Mark, that voice of Elizabeth Debicki haunts me. Yeah. It haunts me because it's so close to the truth. Yeah. And I'm thinking it is Diana. Mm. It, it's, it's going to be very upsetting for a lot of people, including me, because it changed our lives forever. Yeah. I, can't, I can't think how William and Harry will cope with this seeing someone portray their mother so perfectly. And I don't agree with showing the final crash scenes. That could have been done more tastefully. Um, but let's see what happens, because I really want to see it on everybody's settee and say, that didn't happen. That happened. Because this is a dramatization. It's not exactly the truth. And we all have to remember that. It's interesting that you've uh, reminded us Queen Elizabeth was quite keen for Camilla to be queen consort, not queen. What's your mm. appraisal mm. of her as queen? Um, just reading between the lines of your earlier answer, it strikes me that you feel she's been a disappointment. No, I think she's been very quiet. I think she's been in, in, in the scenery. She's been in the sidelines. She's been there to keep Charles on track. I, think, I don't think she really wants to be queen. I think she just landed this role because she loves the man who happens to be king. So, you know, it's a dilemma for her. It always will be a dilemma for her. And the more she can keep out of the limelight, I think better for her because she will have much, a much more rewarding life staying in the sidelines and not front centre. And you say that she'll never win the PR war with Diana. That's your clear view. Never. No. Never. She, Diana was loved by millions around the world, still is loved by millions in our own country. It's an impossible battle.